Hey everyone, the next retopo project is Sonic's head, so we're going to start that. Let's enable the visibility of the head objects and disable the visibility of his body object. This is going to be exactly like the body, but just a lot more objects intersecting. To begin with, select the curve objects, hit Alt-C and convert to mesh, keep the original objects as well. With them all selected after the conversion, hit Ctrl J to join. Obviously I didn't learn anything on the body because I forgot to disable the mirror modifiers again, but it's easy enough to delete half. Just straight up delete these two hair meshes and box select and delete these vertices. Now we've got half the mesh, which we can mirror. Enable clipping, and make sure to merge the tips of each hair piece. Since my model is going to be low poly, I'm going to try to line up the edges on neighboring hair strands better. I'm going to start with these two edges, so select the surrounding edges and hide them. Enable proportional editing and make sure that connected only is on. Then move this edge so it visually matches the one above it a bit better. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it'll make the topology flow easier. Then just keep doing this with any edge that you want to, or that makes sense. I can just shift geometry around as I want since I'm not really attached to the exact shape of his hair. If you're retopoing a model that you can't really shift shapes around as freely, you'll just have to live with things not lining up perfectly. But it's totally possible to retopo any shapes together with fairly decent topology. Everything gets a little trickier on a low poly model, but it's something you develop a feel for over time. Alright, now that I'm fairly happy with how my geometry is lined up, I'm going to select the vertices I want to use in my final topology, which is more or less everything but the faces that clip together. Once you've got everything selected, hit Shift-D to duplicate, and then P to separate by selection, then we have our new retopo object. Select and tab into the new object, and retopo! It's just like we did on the body, use snapping, vertex, edge, and face to get the new vertices where you want them, and just fill in geometry until it's one smooth object. 
You can enable wireframe, you might find turning on in front helpful, also backface culling. How I made my topology look is literally like one of an infinite amount of ways to do it. When I was practicing making Sonic's head, every time I did the topology it turned out a little bit different, so as long as it looks good to you, that's all that matters. As I build this, a lot of these angles are pretty extreme, so the shading is all over the place. We'll fix that in a little bit, don't worry about it. Something else I should do really quick is add an edge loop to this hairpiece so I can get rid of that bit that just juts out of his eye. Same with the geometry by his ear. Occasionally you'll get a misplacement of a vertex, just delete the face and try again.
So now that the hair is mostly joined together, we can fix the shading a little bit. Head into the Modifiers tab and add an Edge Split modifier. Disable Edge Angle. And with Edge Select active, select and mark edges in between the spikes as sharp. Feel free to smooth out geometry even further at this point. And I think that looks pretty good. I've got a weird extra edge here, so I'm going to select and delete it. I'm pretty happy with how this looks for 233 tries, if you're, you know, into try counts. Now we need to convert the brow curve into a mesh. Select any geometry that you want to use in the final object, which for me is a lot of it. I don't want to simplify this shape too much because I think it looks pretty good as is. When you've got your geometry selected, duplicate and separate into a new object. And then in object mode, select the new object and the retopo object, join them with Ctrl J. Now back to classic retopo. I ended up wanting more of my original brow object, so I extruded vertices out onto another row, and I toggled my eye object off to get a better view. Now I'm going to merge these final vertices and snap them to where I'm connecting all of the objects together. And I'm going to close this opening, probably onto his mouth object. If you were a perfectionist with your original shape guide objects, you might not have these large openings to close all over, but it's fine either way. I've got too many objects, so I'm going to disable the visibility of the original brow curve. And then I also need to delete this side of my retopo brow, which I hadn't noticed until now. There we go.
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time we'll finish up the retapo. Please like and subscribe. Our list of characters to model is ever growing, but we still love seeing any and all of your suggestions. And we've been a little, well, a lot behind on the comments, but I promise you we're reading them and attempting to respond as fast as we can. It's pretty slow, but you know, life and stuff. Thank you again. Stay safe. I love you all. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.